We've been working with Catherine Dunn for a long time to organize her papers and bring them into the archive. We were moving towards this show, and then of course, unfortunately, Catherine Dunn died last May, uh, which made it particularly relevant and poignant to get this show available to the public now. The exhibition is, is a very small sampling of a really large archive. Um, it was curated by a student, uh, Sydney Awanda, and an assistant professor in the English department here, Mike Roble. One thing Mike Roble is particularly interested in is the cultish response um, to Dunn's writing. So he's interested in the huge amounts of fan mail, as well as fan art that was produced in response to geek love, as well as sort of a literary response from other prominent writers of the late 80s and early 90s, including Chuck Palahniuk, Brett Easton Ellis, and other West Coast writers. Dunn says at some point that her writing is calligraphic um, to the point of being onomatopoetic. And that's fascinating. Like, that's a weird thing to say, right? What would it be for handwriting to approximate a sound? But that explanation from Dunn makes us think more seriously about what her drafts are. Her drafts are all in her handwriting, and she's saying pretty explicitly that her handwriting adds to the meaning of her text in some way. My real sense from talking to readers who like the novel is that it's functioning very differently than it was for readers in the late 1980s. Now, fans of Geek Love are really excited about the nostalgia for an old Portland that's hard to trace. Much of it is set around Knob Hill and the Pearl District and districts that have really been rebuilt and restructured since the 80s and 90s. Uh, and they're interested in a memory of this gritty Portland, which is increasingly hard to find.